Hi, welcome to Oker Amster. Today I'll be viewing this Taotronics LED desk lamp. The model is TT-DL092. I've been using this for a while now. And before I go into more details on it, I just want to show off the user manual. If there's any part you want to read in more detail, feel free to pause the video. Even if I lost the user manual, this unit is pretty easy to figure out. This board over here, this was, it came with it on it. Um, I left it on there just because if I had removed it, all the items here is not labeled. I placed it back on here is because I plan to put this light in my child's uh, study room. And I'm gonna detail on why shortly. Over here, I'm able to rotate this 45 degrees either way. It's a nice sturdy base. Even though there's a lot of space on this side over here, there is no wireless charging pad. This light on top, I can adjust it and tilt, and tilt up and down. For this part, just tilt this way. I cannot pan it. I cannot turn, twist it or anything. And that's okay. I'll go into more detail on that later too. On the back over here, there is one USB type eight out. So I can plug in my uh, lightning cable, my USB type A to type C or USB type A to micro USB to charge my other devices. And here's the power port. The power cable for this is about six feet. Finally, someone making LED desk lamps provided a long power cable. Thank you, Taltronics, for doing that. That's the power adapter. Now, the reason why I said that this part, if it can't uh, twist or tilt, that's okay. And the reason is because of this over here. Here, I can adjust the light angle. So, if I'm looking at this right now, the LED, actually, I'm going to turn off the LEDs. There's LEDs on the left side, LEDs on the right side. We can see that there's different color LEDs in there. And that's because this has both daylight brightness and warm. Let me just turn it back on for a minute. When I'm working on a computer, the LED on this side, it's within my field of view. It bothers me a lot. So what I could do is press this illumination angle adjust. Now this part is illuminated. And once I turn this knob, just take a look at the shadows. If I turn the knob this way, over here it's getting dimmer. Over there, it's still well illuminated. So now if I look up over here, this part that was lit before, it's not lit anymore. I'm gonna turn it the other way. So now it's, yeah, now it's catching my eye. This time over here is not lit. There's more shadow on that side over there. I'm gonna turn it again. We can see this side getting brighter. If I ever wanna reset it back to default, just press, well, two seconds or so. It just blinks a little, it resets back to default. The same goes for the brightness adjustment. If I were to change the brightness right now, say put it on the lowest brightness, and then I press over here about uh, two seconds, it automatically resets back to the middle. Same goes for the color temperature. Let me just show the color temperature. Here is very warm type of color temperature. And I'm gonna turn the other way. This is getting very bright, daylight brightness. Let me set it back to the middle. So the other function is auto brightness adjustment. I don't really use that, I prefer to set my own brightness. There's a 60 minute timer on off and nightly. 
the nightlight function. I like it. It's not very bright. Perfect for a nightlight, per perfect for my kids' room. Another one of the reasons why I want to place this in my kids' room. The only thing with the nightlight is that even though the manual says the auto timer works with regular light and night light, I have not been able to get that to work. If I press the the timer, nothing happens. If I press a hold for two seconds, still nothing happens. Let me turn the light back on. But when it's on regular light mode, if I just tap on the timer, see now it's illuminated. Tap on the timer again, the auto timer shuts off. The other desk lamp I've been using for this room, this has a CFL light. The problem with this light is filming in this kind of lighting situation, sometimes it catches the flicker of the bulb, especially when the bulb is old. Whereas with this LED lamp, I can use this and film my unboxing videos, work on my computer, edit my videos here too, or just essentially almost, almost anything. As long as there's power going to this at the socket over here, I shut off the light over here. Then if I turn back on, it resumes where it last was. It's going to remember my last setting and just continue all from there. The only way for it to forget it is I completely shut off the power to this outlet. I'm very glad I got this desk lamp. There's only one minor issue with the six minute, minute auto timer not really working when it's in nightlight mode. But besides that, not much to complain about. Taltronics did provide this unit for review, but I still like this and I would recommend it. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.